closes at the end, but you lot left me for dead. So as we know about Dan Rowden, he likes to pull out of Too early, let's cut the grass so early. So today we're gonna to do a full following day in the life of the whole group. So we've got Catherine and Josh in, in, in this department. So there's three of us in here. We're all pretty beat up today, so hopefully we'll wake up in about 10 minutes and we'll be more more present, not in zombie mode. Okay, right there. Ground chairs. Pan here is awful, but I figured out how to make it non-stick completely. You heat it up. It seems to be working actually so far. You heat it up, it's super hot, and then just put a bit of water on it. If, if it dances like this, if the water dances around. It means he's ready. So what you eating for breakfast? Uh, a couple of eggs and a couple of eggs today. And you, Kettle, what are you going to eat? Toast, uh, peanut butter, honey, coffee. Here we go. How's it going, man? It's going right. <laughs> We're good? Yeah. Josh, what is your breakfast, man? My breakfast, um, I do some overnight oats. So inspired by Ellie Baker with the cocoa powder to give it a bit of a shout out. But yeah, do it the night before. So I've got some seeds in there, uh, some water, some plant-based milk, and some pumpkin seeds really, peppered with banana. Can't go wrong. So it's always good to have a uh, cold breakfast on uh, hot mornings as well, I reckon, so. All right, so the proper way to make a Euro press, um, as far as I'm aware, is uh, yeah, the filter and the plastic in the bottom, tiny bit of water to, yeah, let, let it filter through the water, then the coffee and water, let it settle for a bit, and then you do the final press. Yeah, but where's the water? Oh, you've already pressed half. Because it goes, it goes through the, it goes through right. the filter. Mm. I, I thought this is how you do it as well. I was told to do it that way, but I'm not a connoisseur. Oh. Well, should do a taste test. Why taste test? <laughs> Oh, we should have done it at the same, like the same time. Got a bit of milk in it to take a bit of the salt. So I've gone majorly, majorly overkill with everything that I've got. We've got the Morton 320. This is for the tempo session. We've got a salad for afterwards, and then this is more of a just in case. And then I've got my shake here. I used to be that guy that never, ever used to use, um, I never used to use supplements. But I think this is just one of those years where I just can't, I can't afford to gamble it. I don't want to gamble it and not get it right. So I'm going majorly overkill now. Uh, we just got the bike in. Always makes my hands dirty. Yeah, I thought we were all going. That's why I thought we were all piling in. That's alright. It's a thousand now. Yeah. I'll show you a trick in how I tie my shoelaces. You ready? Straight up. Two fingers. Loop. Around. And done. Wow! And then when you got lactic, straight off. You really struggled for coffee. <laughs> It's the best trick. Have you seen it? Have a look. Uh, the boys have got tempo. Their tempo pace is a little bit quicker than mine. Um, but I'm doing some work just above tempo zone. So I'll be doing 1200s of their miles and then we'll all be together for some 200s afterwards. So it should be, yeah, reasonably hard, but not like a killer session. We've got a lot more um, harder stuff on Saturday. Is it working? Yeah, so I think we're cutting it back a little bit today, four by a mile and some 200s. I think it's getting to that stage of the camp where everyone's getting pretty tired. So, and it's pretty hot out. So body wise, I'm pretty tired. And I think uh, most people are. So uh, just get this one done. And Saturday's the only last one to do. That's a tough one. So just get through this and we're home and dry. Uh, so today we're down the track for a bit of what I call track tempo. This will involve a uh, four by one mile off of one minute recovery, probably around about 4.53 to 4.55 for the lads. Ellie will be going probably around about 5.25 for hers. Um, and then we'll be doing some 200s and fast twos off the back of this uh, off a minute recovery as well. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Let's see how you do under pressure, oh Yeah, I've been wanting this shit forever I've been in the field with whatever they throw at me Brush it off, pick myself up, moving on to the better Okay, hey. yeah. Ain't no errors, baby, it's a new era I wake up early, feeling rich like I'm Kesha I get to the paper, boy like Fuck with me, you know that I got it Come with me, let's take a trip to the islands We up on the jet, we'll do more than just fly on it Stand on that hill, you gon' die on it Boom. Boom. Baby, I'm not one of them, you should try on it Miss me with all that I'm on it in next yeah. Up, I send you back to your ex, but good luck with that, this is as big as it gets. Hey, okay. let's see how you do under pressure. Yeah. Let's see how you do under pressure. Give them a name to remember. Hey, let's see how you do under pressure. Let's see how you do under pressure. A moment can live on forever. Yeah. Oh, 
shit. They don't let me shoot a whole clip. Firepower in this coalition. We just turned the field into a demolition. It was desolate, but I had premonition. I was training for war every exhibition, every extra mission, every enemy listening. Get off my dick, I got bad intentions. Make it right every wrong, and I'm back with a vengeance. I show you the ropes. Beast in my town, I can show you the coast. Up in the shots if they wanted to smoke. If you know, then you know. Suited up, bitch, my whole team do the same. Don't you forget who created the game. Ready for war, I was born with grenades. The trenches were soldiers of May. Let's see how you do under pressure. Let's see how you do under pressure. Give them a name to remember. Hey. Feeling quite good today. I was just hot, man. I just wanted to get it done. I just, I got to the point. I thought, fuck this, I'm going. Temple's finished. Now we've got four twos, so we're gonna try and go 25, 25, 24, 24. Um, oh, yeah, and we're just going to be a, a bit more in tune with the pace, so it'll be a little bit quicker this week. Four twos off a minute, 24 9, 24 7, 24 2, 23 7. Job done. We're calling Cap. Cap. We're calling absolutely. John got it. <laughs> John just told us. Come on. Nine, 25 the first one. Nine, 24. I showed you that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Who led the first one? Me. The first two fouls, I thought, oh, this is alright. And the third one, a bit like hell. Fourth one, pick up big time. Yeah, big time. Oh, hold on, mate. Where's your foot? It's the heat. It wasn't the distance, it was the heat was just. I don't know how you do that. 60 seconds, honestly. Deep breathing. <laughs> Come on now, give us your best. What so, happened on rep two? The plan was the plan was to run 25, 25, 24, 24. But Gemma egged us on <laughs> by saying that we were going to run too slow, so. Biced it up. Gee, I got 24, 24, 24, 23. I thought I thought I ran 25 on my rep, but you pulled alongside me. No, second rep. Second rep, yeah. You pulled yeah, you, alongside me. Yeah. You did. And then I, I thought maybe but, I was but running slow. He started behind, so yeah. he's pulled. No, I'm, see, I'm saying on the second rep, I was supposed to run 25. Yeah. I ran 24/7. Yeah, because that was right. Yeah. Yeah. But then you picked up a lot on the straight. Did you put a meter off, a meter and a half on me? Well, that's because I thought it was going slow. Did yeah. you? It's all done. Yeah. It's all spikes that makes such a difference. I got what? Do you want to feed in at any point? No, I just kind of just started observing from behind. I got the one rep for 24. You did? I got the yeah, it's a third, third, third one. Yeah. You got out like a stab rack. Yeah, because I'm running scared. Like. You look left me. <laughs> yeah. No, rep, you look left me for dead. Which one? Uh, three. Third, third one. Yeah, we went quick. It was 24 2. That's my coach. That's, yeah. yeah. that's the one you've got to just. 24 2. That's, that's, it's good to have him do that one. Yeah. Because yeah. that's the one it's easy to back off from. I closed at the end, but you look left me for dead. Yeah, about... we actually backed off a little bit towards the last 50. Yeah. And I didn't realise we ran as quick as we did. You're about five meters ahead of me yeah. on the last one. Do you want to debrief your session? Okay. Emmy ran very well. <laughs> she, uh, five twenties, five twenties, which is a uh, about ten seconds of our quicker than last week, which is great progress. I think she deserves a round of applause. Yeah. 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 Grace, sorry, I don't know what your splits were. Was um, it good? I was running ninety second laps. That That's what I was doing last week as well. Hot girl pick. But your twos were amazing. So good. So. <laughs> <laughs> You want to take the positives from every session, don't you? John, John, I'm going, well, I'm going to say, I think that was hotter again out there. It's hotter yeah. other day, but the today hot. it's got even hotter, it seems closer. This is why the professional girls got it done real early and the boys <laughs> rolled out of bed too late. <laughs> We're wrapping up now towards the end of end of camp pretty much. It's been a solid, solid camp. First ten days were a little bit sticky, but from then on it's just been absolute just target, target, target. It's been like a crash course of lactic. We don't normally hit this much lactic in such a short period, but we missed we had a bit of a checkered winter, we missed a huge chunk, it was about nine weeks missing, and then we've been consistent ever since January, February, March, um, and now April. And it's been going to be fair, it really has been going all to plan. Um, the crash course is complete. We've got one final session on Saturday, three by four hundred. My target, I want to hit the first one in the 47. My best ever session was a 47, 48, 49. But 
that's normally during the track season and that's off 10 minutes um, so the aim is to try and get as close to that as possible I know I can nail the first one second one might be a bit of a struggle third one we'll see what happens but it's been a good day we've done um, today was four by a mile and then we went uh, 10 minute rest and we had four by 200 and I got 24 9 off of a minute so 24 9 24 7 24 2 and then we went down to 23 7 off a minute that's pretty that's pretty good especially after the load we had in our legs so it's been a good camp and we've still got in there one more session we're at the promotion net phase now and then I'm gonna have a seven day reset head back home see the family catch up with everyone and then we hit Leon and then we have Leon on the fourth I then go straight out to Doha on the ninth and then I'm gonna have 10 days in Marrakesh to race there on the 19th and then two diamond leagues so one 800 two 15s and then see what happens it's an exciting yeah see what happens it's been i'm way more consistent i've never banked the training i've banked um even with the checkered winter um so it'd be fascinating to see what we end up with it's exciting man it's exciting We've just done plyometric circuits. Um, it's basically quick movements mixed with a few core exercises and back like sort of plyo exercises. Now we have to run. <laughs> but I'm pooped, so I want to go on the cross trader. Because it's, it's been a like big. I was, Elliot, I'm actually talking right now. Uh, um, it's actually been a really tough day's training. Obviously, you've seen tempo and then um, 200s and then lunch. But well, we don't get a lot of recovery Lunch in the so day. Hard. Ellie, please, again. Uh, and then we do circuits, which is quite hard. And then we go into the final piece of cross training. I'd like to run, but my shins just aren't up to the task. Are you uh, not going to run then tonight? So as I said, my shins are quite... So sore. as we know about Dan Rowden, he likes to pull out of a lot of things. That's what she said. <laughs> and so one extra Whoa. thing that I... <laughs> <laughs> I actually beat him today on the press-ups. What, what, what did the day look like today? Today was a hard, well it was actually meant to be like an easier session because it was just tempo and 200 but actually it bit because it was super hot outside and um, then we went straight to the coffee shop as per, got a bit of lunch I and then really, come really to nice circuits teach. and when we came to circuits I actually beat Dan on the press-ups. So uh, it's been a good day for me. Yeah, but today. Ast Asterix, and I am going to run. And I, oh, sorry, Dan, oh. I'm talking. Yeah, that's fair. Um, that's fair. Oh, okay. I see what you did there. Uh, and I'm going to run tonight. So uh, yeah, it's been a good day. Ellie beat me on the press ups. How many did you do this week, Ellie? I did 36. How many did I do last week? I told you just before this. I think this. you did 37, but you also have a hell of a lot more testosterone than me, so it's quite shocking, actually. Also, Ellie, what do you call these? Uh, they would be called shorts. And what do you call these? Also shorts. So how do you differentiate between the two? Tight shorts, baggy yeah, shorts. Tight shorts. I don't think you need to say half hot. tight. No, that's three quarters. No, half, half three quarters full. Josh, can I bring you in on this one? I'm just going to give you the microphone. Josh isn't actually British, so it's not hold. like he would know. It's, it's an international thing. <laughs> well, I would go as far as to say uh, that they're called actually fitted shorts, so. Yeah! Okay, so that wraps up today's training. So a nice tempo this morning, followed by some, followed by circuits, 
and circuits followed by the shakeout run. It's been, it's been a good day. I'm cutting my run short. I'm only gonna do a mile. I'd normally do a three mile shakeout, but I just feel really beat up and tired. And I'm really happy about a bag, so my cars feel a little bit twingy because I did a few more plyometric based exercises in the circuit. So there's no heroes today. The twos were quite quick and I wore carbon for the tempo and carbon for the sprint. So just bank it, move forward and onto the next one. And here, here's Irish, take a look. <laughs> right. I messed today done. Until next time.